uh, when uh, uh, you also say in the, the real story that uh, uh, Johnny still has a chance to make it uh, if she she turns a new page by recognizing the real guides back in the new man. Uh, does it mean that those who have committed very heinous acts that they still have a chance to qualify for the for, to qualify for the real universities, even if they are, they are real candidates for for the phantom zone, can they automatically be absolved for their karma upon joining the new presentation? Anything is possible. That's why Paul gave uh, many examples. Uh, I'll go back and then uh, I would suggest read the story of Milarepa that it, uh, he presented. But yeah, I see, uh, I see the potential. You see, these people that are so dastardly in the world that have done all these things, they're actually the real risk takers. Most people just sit back and do their job and watch TV. That's what they do. They just want their La La Land life, thinking that the earth is that and not realizing it's human farming. And that's fine, too. But it's the real risk takers. And these individuals, because of their intent, how it's been, you see, this is where intent comes in. Once they recognize something that has real value, and there have been those, because we've all done dastardly things through past lifetimes. We've all been killed or killed others and did everything, okay? And so we've come into this life, and it's taken us lifetimes to get here to kind of smooth some of that stuff out. Now we're meeting those people that are still doing this. So I see the potential with everyone, and it goes moment by moment uh, if they will sincerely step up. Uh, but that's that's a hard choice. And just like Bob's experience when he, when uh, Bob and uh, Sandy went to the uh, seminar and. Uh, Bob had that experience on the real side with Harry where he came to him and asked him, why are you here? But uh, Harry wasn't interested in uh, stepping up, etc. See, again, it's choice. Now, he could, but he doesn't really have the courage because he looks to Joni. That's the whole thing. Joni decides. And, but, and she can because as push comes to shove, you know, she might. You know, that would be a heck of an adventure, too, to see what she would do. Yeah. But she's got to do a lot to qualify. It's not that just instantly you come into it. It's like, okay, well, everything is is uh, cleared away for you. No, you've got to, you've got to, you might say, work through it. But these are the real risk takers. You're, you know, the the Federal Reserve, the cabal, the uh, the Vatican, the Queen, all the uh, the monarchy and that that controlled the world, etc. The, the United States government, etc. These people are putting themselves out there. It's a dangerous position because uh, these people, the, the reptilians, even eat themselves. If they're not satisfied with somebody, they get rid of them, you know, even if they're part of the family, etc. And so they're always taking the risk. These are the real risk takers. And so if they, if they all of a sudden step up, you know, sincerely and prove themselves. You've got to prove yourself in a particular way. Well, of course, they're given the chance. And it's really not about karma. We're all here. Karma is not the burden uh, that it's thought to be. Karma is simply cause and effect. That's all it is. And once you start to provide a beneficial effect, well, then, just like vibrations, you know, from bad rock and roll music to symphonic music, all of a sudden, the air is cleared, you see? That's karma. It's really nothing. But it's made to be a big deal, more so because most people aren't aware of what it really is. Boys aren't interested in karma or making up your karma or whatever. This is just a lot of marketing that, that the spiritual paths use. We are here to eventually figure out how to recognize the true reality in the real universe. So that's why we're here. Not to be spiritual or good or make a happy home here, etc. This is a big bird nest is all it is. Uh, now you're waking up to that. But again, the decision is up to the individual. And some people, they're not interested. They just want to stay here. That's fine. And 
Everybody can have whatever they want in life. You know what I'm You can have whatever you want. So if you want to stay here and just do what you're doing, go ahead. Life is not concerned. Life is like the sun shining. It's exactly like that and more so. It just shines. And it's an isness. This is what's so cool about it. But when you recognize that it's endless, it is endless and endless and more so than your personal mind. But we've had to go through this. So, yes, so again, uh, you got to be the risk taker to want to go into the unknown and take on the challenge. And at the same time, so I see this. Yeah, I could just go off and hide and forget it. I've thought about it many times. Just walk to Mexico and let the world do what it does. I'll be fine. But it's not about me being fine. It's about I like the challenge to see who will wake up because I like to see the individual shine. That's what I like to see. I like to see if I can in some way uh, get to the sincerity of a person, you see. Because again, that's what life is. It's all pure sincerity. And to constantly uh, take on the challenge to see if the individual wake up. Well, that's what I do. That's what I've decided to do. So, yeah, there are a lot of risk takers out there, out there, Charles. Let's see who shows up. 